Tony, off the back of an incredible season for everybody here at Port Vale, you've signed a brand new contract, which will see you stay here till 2024. Just how happy are you that you've got that over the line and you're going to spend another two years at Vale Park? I'm absolutely delighted. You know, it's, um, it's something that I wanted to work towards this season. Um, and I've managed to, you know, the club have installed their faith in me and giving me this extension. Um, so I've just got to go and go back out there and repay it on the pitch during the season. Talk to me about the season. Obviously, you've worked with, with Lucas, you've worked with Thomas, and then you made the place your own towards the, the back half of the season, the back end of the season, which ultimately saw you play at Wembley. Talk to me about what that's like as a, as a goalkeeper working in that unit, working with those guys. It's brilliant, you know, for me, because I'm, I'm only 22 at the moment, turning 23 soon. Um, and, you know, Thomas and, and Lucas are a little bit older than me, you know, um, and they've got more experience. So I can, I can learn from them. They've been playing the game longer than me. So it was just a case of learning from those two guys as well at the same time, but not just on the pitch, also off the pitch. You know, the, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, Tom, Thomas was massive on all of his prehab and stuff like that, which is understandable uh, for a guy of his size. So it was, it was nice to, to kind of learn that side of stuff as well, because I'm still learning learning that in my game. Um, and if that can help me on the pitch, brilliant. You know, Lucas is a, is a top professional as well. Um, and you can see from, from the way he is on the pitch and stuff like that, he's got great energy. Um, I think that's something that I probably need to add a little bit more to, to my game as well, not just on the, on the pitch, but off it as well. What was it about the commitment to the club? Obviously, you've made a commitment, the club's made a commitment for two years. You mentioned there your age, you, you, you're a young goalkeeper. What was it that made you want to kind of sign on the dotted line for that, that two-year period? It's, you know, obviously getting into League One was the aim for this season, um, just gone. So that was massive in the decision of me challenging myself to go and play at a higher higher level and to do it with this club as well you know I'm a local lad I'm only from Stafford so it's not far um, and I, I really you know the club have been so welcoming with not just myself um, but also with my family as well so that obviously had a massive part to deal with it as well. We saw some incredible saves from you this season which has also kind of come around with it with a, a chant from the stands which is <laughs> is unusual for a goalkeeper to receive a chant but how is it? How has it felt for you to be well received by the Vale fans? As you said, a local lad as well to hear Vale fans kind of sing your name. It's surreal. Um, I think it's something that, as a kid growing up playing football, you'd all always like to hear that, but you might not always get a song or you know the kind of love that I kind of received from the Vale fans. Um, so. It's unbelievable for me to, to hear my name being sung, um, especially at Wembley. That was a real surreal moment for me. Although I was obviously trying to concentrate during the game, I could still hear them singing. So that was a, a memory that I'll live long. We've seen as well, obviously, being a goalkeeper can be sometimes one of the loneliest places on the pitch. You, you do take that in. Obviously, when you, get, when you get time, you take it in. But also, you, you like to kind of celebrate with the fans. We saw that after the Swindon game with the penalties, with the fans just gathered around you. It was, must have been nice to share that moment with all of them while also trying to find your family as well, I guess. Yeah, it was lovely. Um, again, that's something that you only see on TV and you don't expect it to happen in your career. Um, so you, you really have to, to cherish those sort of moments. And uh, yeah, whilst... <laughs> Whilst I was on a lot of the fans' backs and stuff like that, I was still trying to look from my family and trying to make it into the tunnel and, and celebrate with the rest of the lads. But yeah, it was, it was something that I'll never forget. Finally then, 2024, you come up to, you, you're here at least until then. What do you want to see from yourself? I want to see myself grow um, into, a, into a consistent goalkeeper. You know, sometimes, I'm just, like I said, I'm still young. Um, so I think I need to add a bit more consistency into my game, um, but I'm sure that'll come with age and if I keep sticking at it, that'll, that'll definitely come. Um, and a bit more, play with a bit more confidence, um, more self-belief. Not that I don't have any self-belief, I just sometimes, like you said before, it's a lonely place as well at times and I need to, to really stick at that and uh, grow as a goalkeeper. Stony, congratulations. Thank you, mate.